Thanks, Lorraine. I've come along to St Bartholomew's Dance Club this Monday evening, where I'm hoping to become a dancing queen for this evening. the road called the Embassy Ballroom, but it burnt down. And then I went to a teacher called Peggy Dexter, she was well known to me. And then when I did my last exams, uh, I just went back and she said, what you come back for? I says, well, I want to be a teacher. So I took my first teacher's exam and then I stayed with her for 40 years teaching, teaching children. 40 years. And then I broke off and went solo by myself. Was it in this style of dancing as well? Ballroom, like ballroom. ballroom. Yeah. yeah, I've always done ballroom in the old time, which is sequence now. That's the sequence. Eileen, what's this I hear about? You're, you invented a dance of some sort and it won a competition. It yes. sounds so exciting. Yes, well, well it's, this is the way the sequen, modern sequence dancing works that they're inventing new dances about every six weeks or so. And people are uh, invited to put their dance forward and we'll write it out on a script, like a pattern, you know, left foot forward, right foot to the side and so, so like on. The, you sort of, um, you write the steps you down? You just write the steps down on what we call a script and we submit it. Now, um, some of the competitions that are done in person, so a couple of dance, pair of dancers could go and dance their dance and they're watched and it's voted on. But during lockdown, because that couldn't happen, they developed a system where you were able to submit your script only, and it was done online. So a professional couple could dance them for you. So all you had to do was put in your script, and then this professional couple would dance it, and then they were judged online. You did this during lockdown? I did one during lockdown, and then last week uh, they included as part of the competition the online section again so we were able to put our scripts in didn't have to dance them necessarily uh, we could put them forward for a um, professional couple to dance them now normally Sonia why aren't you up dancing tonight broken toe unfortunately but because <laughs> normally you would be the first you'd be the first on the floor normally leading the dance but unfortunately you've got a broken toe but it's lovely watching everybody else yes, enjoy themselves, all dressed up. So. I like a foxtrot and I like the cha-chas as well. Um, anything, really. And I believe, I mean, you've been dancing since a very since early age. Since I was age. three, yes. So what was your first time uh, dancing? The first time they sent me to um, Scottish dancing. Scottish dancing? Because uh, I lived in Scotland and I had so much energy, that's where they sent me to the dance class. They sent you there to use your energy when you were <laughs> yes. a kid. As a teenager, I did yeah. old-time dancing. Mm -hmm and then I, I went into a um, large office. Everybody could dance, and I used to go with them Saturday night to dance, um, but I couldn't dance. One of my friends said, let's go and have lessons, so that's what we did. We just we went and had lessons and um, the rest is history. We've really. so done a little bit of Argentine tango, a little mm -hmm. bit. Well, and um, salsa, you yeah, picked the salsa one bit. time as well. Um, You're yeah. a big uh, tango Which fan, is Sonia. Yeah. Modern dancing tango and, and salsa is really Old time good, yeah. dancing yeah. took over. And yeah. this, is the, this is the thing for my age group, right. sequence. 
You've been to belly dance as well. I've oh, been to yeah. belly. I've been. Oh belly yeah, I did that. Yeah. Well, I just went for Salsa fun. But it's actually well. good exercise, belly dancing. Yeah. It was to get weight off, you know. Right. I've done a little bit of salsa. I used to go to Britney Bay, I did that, yeah. Yes. But the thing is, um, there's more women dance than men. So to get a partner is the thing. So I thought, no point in going to salsa, you know, if, you, if there's nobody to dance with. So really that's, I'm very lucky to get the chance to dance with a teacher here. It's really good, I mean, I, if I don't know the dance, he knows it. <laughs> I'm 80, you know, but Two and a half years ago, I was really at death's door. I really was. I had a big heart thing, completely out of the blue. And, um, and consequently, if it hadn't been for my wife, I would have been, I would have been a goner and I only had a dear two to live. They actually told me I had to have some sort of exercise therapy. I could either go walking, or, and, well, we chose to do this, or the gym, which I did for a while. But this is how, so seven times a week we do this. So this was my way of staying alive. But there's a load of little church halls and places around Newcastle. But we wanted to move on and progress a little bit. So we came here. We've only been coming here a month, six weeks. It was a waltz. My dance was a waltz. Well, yeah. I think that's your favourite style of dance. Well, yeah, waltz and foxtrot, yeah, ballroom dances, yeah, are my favourite. Like the uncle dancing, you never know. Oh. I can I can submit it again it's anyway. I <laughs> was taught to dance when I was young, and then uh, came back to dancing with my husband, who unfortunately now um, passed away. Um, but we then took a teaching qualification in dancing. But ballroom dancing and old time dancing I did when I was young, but now it's this style, it's what we call sequence dancing, uh, because the sequence uh, is 16 bars of music, so you invent your steps. Well, I can never to sit keep time, you see, this is the thing. Uh -huh. When I was really small, I was sent to ballroom classes, yeah. I wouldn't have a clue now of yeah. any of the steps to remember them. Um, but I always have a problem with. <laughs> With dancing with either a partner or within a group, I can never keep up uh -huh. for some yeah, reason. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. It, dancing yes. solo, I'm yeah, a yeah. <laughs> Well, it is an acquired art, so you have to keep because practicing. Because if you make a mistake, if you're doing a performance and it's a solo piece, if you make a mistake, nobody's really going to know, are they? No, so, no, 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 no. Well, <laughs> well, no, then it doesn't matter anyway, as long as people are enjoying themselves, does it, really? So you obviously do probably know what you call dancing as well. Well, yeah, yeah. I do, yeah, yeah. I do, yeah, yeah. I'm a member of the church, so it's... Uh, it is a connection to the church. I mean, the hall, the hall originally was across the road. Ah, right. So is this a new build or something? It's yeah. New. Ah. Um, it was built in the 60s, I think, when they pulled the old one down. It was a wooden hut. <laughs> old wooden hut. But it's still, it's not an expensive for a night out. The dancers come in, the men were dancing, and then the women came in dancing. And then we had to get up and dance for them. Yes, we've had some lovely, lovely dancers. Hopefully be a dancing queen and I've learned no <laughs> steps. So you're just gonna have to train to show you in a minute. <laughs> Well, if I started when I was three, I'll be 87 next month, so right. there you go. <laughs> but um, it certainly keeps, it's good exercise. It's a social thing. We all know each other. We're all, you know, friends. And you've got to, ha uh, your memory is for trying to remember the dance. It's good for that. It's just, it's a good good sport. I'd recommend to anybody. Yeah. Uh, no, we'd, we'd, um, we'd do a, a waltz in sequence. You see, uh, every dance is done in sequence. Uh, six to eight steps repeated over and over. And that's, uh, so it's not too hard to learn. If you watch it, it's repeated.
Ballroom is different variation. But sequence is um, like, say, the waltz, what they're doing now. It's done in a 16 bar sequence, where, and it's repeated every 16 bars. <laughs> <laughs> My career teaching dancing was barely 60 years. Nearly 60. It was 60 years, May, April this year, since I was started training, start, since I started teaching actual, passed me professional exam. It's been your life, hasn't it? Really? It has, yeah. yeah. And then when the teachers who used to lead the floor gave up, I was asked would I do it with another girl that was here, who was a prof professional. I said, well, I might as well. Yeah. And then she died, and then Eileen, who you were talking to, yes, yes. she led the floor with me. That my discs in my back went, and I couldn't move my arms yeah. properly. So I had to give it up. And I've got arthritis in my knees, and the spine, my, my whole spine is actually crumbling. So I can't, yeah, yeah. can't do it anymore. Um, it's still in my blood. So, yeah. I mean, I learned to dance on my granddad's feet. Oh, that's very sweet. This dance is called the Royal Coronation Saunter and it's just a new dance that has been learned in the last week or so, so everybody's just trying it out now. Every Monday.